okay now that we have the main surfaces uh, of the patterns i kind of select them all and have a look around a little bit um yeah this is kind of pretty much the resemblance of the uh, pattern design in the in the imagery uh we gotta add one more uh, cv row in the middle um there could be of course uh, cv problems over there as you see cv mismatch uh, but it's not that uh, big of an issue we don't need to be that much perfectionist yeah but before before doing some changes with those cvs uh, always control the surface orientation if they are disoriented uh, we're gonna we're gonna um, move all those cvs at the same time if there is a disorientation about the surface normals the cvs are not going to act the same they 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 will be they will be acting the opposite way let's say if i push inwards uh, disoriented uh, su surface normal uh, make that cv uh, layout push outwards instead of inwards yeah so i'm selecting the all cv rows in the middle and then we are gonna we're gonna tuck them a little bit in push them in in a certain amount that kind of represents our uh, pattern design yeah i'm just slightly pushing it in yeah so now that we have this kind of wavy uh, pattern layout with the hard edges uh, in, in the intersections of course it's just a little bit more yeah now we have to trim out the main surfaces to pop the pattern design up here yeah, a little bit um i mean there are lots of curve on surfaces over there so this is kind of confusing uh if i were uh if i were doing it now i would pr probably uh, get rid of most of the um curve on surfaces to kind of relax the trimming operation because at that time i was just thinking that which part that i need which part that i don't need to kind of keep them or delete them yeah when trimming when doing trimming operations it's a little bit confusing when you have too much uh, curve on surfaces but if you if you guys are gonna delete them to clean out the layout make sure you copy and paste them to the another layer in case you need it you need it yeah yeah now finally our pattern kind of shows itself after the trimming operation but you see over there i have missed i i couldn't i couldn't trim i have missed one surface accidentally select them i was just getting confused yeah our pattern uh, kind of pops up right now of course there are some modifications some modifications that we should do but even though they are minor they take quite quite amount of time actually to be honest and you see we are kind of getting there right again we are not being perfectionist at this time because this is too complex uh too complex movements and at this level at this level we don't need to be that kind of perfectionist we can be loose with it yeah for the next step in the design the edges of the patterns kind of washes out until it until it goes to the uh, main surface. So I am aligning I am aligning the uh, narrower edge of the pattern uh, G1 by using G1 continuity. For for all of the patterns, I will do it one by one. Uh, make sure your partial uh, partial option is selected. Uh, otherwise, it's just try to complete the whole the uh, whole uh, trim, trim dash yeah sometimes there are some mismatches as you see over there but we can we can fix fix it of course yeah you gotta you gotta do that for all of the edges uh, one by one at this 
uh, at this level. It takes a bit time, of course, but at the same time, uh, some problems happen. As you see, they are just not um, connecting, uh, completing each other. It is mainly because of the curve on surface layout over there. It's just curve on surfaces that we used before to trim that edge is not just one complete curve on surface. There are a bunch of different parts as you see when I'm selecting curve on surface over there. It's just start and end points are not defined. So when you when you uh, edge align one surface to that curve on surface, it kind of uh, stops aligning if if curve on surface ends before the before the uh, surface that you are trying to project out. So that that is why I am right now fixing it by uh, doing G zero project align onto surface. Or you can do or, or you can do like create one single clean. Uh, curve before and then project that curve uh, onto that surface or create some surface interacting exactly the same point to create one and the key is is to create one single curve on surface at that edge to perform that kind of uh, alignments this i mean the problems that you see in the video is just basically because of that and me fixing it along the way Yeah, you see, I have fixing the um, curve on surfaces issues as well. Still, it takes it takes time, and that pattern is not hundred uh, percent projected onto surface because half of the pattern it belongs to the other surface, and the half of the pattern belongs to the other surface. And we're gonna we're gonna do some manual modifications over there. But before, let's complete the journey. Yeah, <laughs> it takes. It takes quite amount of time. Yeah. I mean, for sure. After after this video, after this tutorial, you're gonna be you're gonna be mastering controlling the curve on surfaces. Yeah. You should fix that. Yeah, this is pretty much me trying to uh, align these surfaces onto main surface and fixing the curve on surface issues by extending or delaying them, creating a clean curve project in that onto surface or project aligning. You see the, these kind of patterns when you when you when you left history open and you trim and untrim main surface that you projected before uh, these. Um, these alignments get kind of freaky sometimes and you just go uh, um, query edit and then click on partial alignment on and off it just fix fixes it yeah i'm delaying to history right now and yeah and i'm gonna be fixing some minor modifications as well yeah you see it kind of washes out until it, until it reaches the edge you see over there it's just overlaps that pattern is overlapping for uh, for two surfaces over there we should we should fix that manually actually we cannot design pattern according to surface distribution yeah it's just pattern is over there and we got to we got to manage that problem we cannot just change the pattern just because we are not 100% aligned with the surface, overall main surface's edges, yeah. I'm gonna be manually um, pulling some CVs and moving some CVs on the CV transform tool. And I will kind of fix it by eye. Uh, if, if, if it looks good uh, to your eyes, and there is no problem, yeah, because this is the design process, you can say. We are not going to be sending this model to production or some engineer to uh, look at. Yeah, we, it, we are just trying to capture the design intention. You can you can consider those images, um, you can consider those images as sketches that you done, that you receive from some designer. It's just a 
act acts like they are design sketches sometimes yeah not final mod you are not just going to uh you you shouldn't sometimes uh, implement all of the uh, sketch all of the design as it is because sketches mostly done on 2d when you when you jump into 3d you gotta respect some 3d surfacing um, rules surfacing ways because when you are in when you are controlling 3d you are kind of i mean you you should you should uh, sometimes touch or change design uh, intentions as well if you have some problems as a 3d wise right now it's just edge align filleting g1 filleting we don't need to take care of the uh, continuities if it fails no matter as long as it looks good on our eyes to our to our eyes I'm filleting all all around, and for that edge, I should uh, use tubular offset, half about half amount of the fillet that I applied over there, to create curve on surfaces. And I am untrimming the surfaces, extending the uh, lower curve on surface to complete that intersection, and I will trim it again, and I will use free from blend between. Yeah. And for those little square down there, I'm gonna just be using square tool. Or let's see what I use. I couldn't recall. <laughs> yeah, I have duplicated curves to create a clean layout. Yeah. And I'm squaring it up. There we go. Just close, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's just something happens here and I can project curve and trim convert the other one and then use square tool to close that up yeah yeah magic yeah this is pretty much fixing the this type of errors and pretty much the same movements trim converting the fillets to create this squarish area it should be four edge uh, so that we can apply some surfaces squares there is um, continuity problem over there and I'm untrimming the surfaces adding one more CV row to help the to help alias to create tangent transition over there because uh, when we look shades in in a shade sky mode it kind of catches our intention there is there is a break there so it shouldn't be like that so i am just revisiting all of the edges again we fixed that but we we, we broke the fillet over there and i'm realigning the fillets uh, at this point you should you sh uh, you should take care of the cv rows do not add uh, any cv rows that you don't need that's the, that's the key I mean, if you are G1, if you are aligning G1, uh, one CV row for the one side, one CV row for the other side. There is no need for adding uh, more CV rows than that. So I'm kind of extending back or trim converting those two intersection intersected surfaces to create four edged area, and I have added uh, one curve, and I'm I'm aligning that and squaring it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have used freeform plan tool over there. Yeah, there is a mismatch, and I'm just extending one surface to the other one. Yeah, that's not gonna be working. I just extended that uh, CV to the other point. Yeah, edge aligning G1 for both sides, and then filleting on top. But but that fillet won't be looking nicely. We gotta we gotta revisit some surface, some CV points over there. Yeah. Once we done this part, guys, we will be uh, we will be finishing our vertical mouse modeling with all details needed, all details needed applied. 
I have I have left some details, of course, when you look at the model on uh, model online, the product online. Let's say we we didn't we didn't. Uh, by the way, I'm using the mouse uh, uh, by myself as well. We haven't applied the um, bottom area or the uh, buttons over there. It's just you can you can you can uh, do that on your own, I guess. Yeah, because we have managed to complete the most important important parts of the model. Uh, the rest, the missing parts, um, won't be hard after completing uh, this type of yeah this level of model. It's just it's just amount of time. Thank you guys watching the video, and if you reach this far, I hope you've managed to complete the model. And if so, send me the pictures and or even you can you can send me the model for quick review. I will be really happy. And thanks again. We have finally uh, finished uh, this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe, uh, like the video and comment below. Um, see you on the next ones. Bye bye.